So this is a strange, kind of a strange thing. This is Aconcagua. It is a uh, first party PlayStation 1 game that was released in the year 2000. That was only released in Japan. Um, and very recently, it got a, uh, a fan English translation. I never heard of this. It's like a, a narrative-based, cutscene-based, point-and-click adventure made by Sony for the PlayStation 1. And it seems to be pretty high budget. And I I don't I guess they didn't release it outside of Japan because the PS2 was coming out that year, and I don't. I, I it seems like a strange situ strange thing, but this now is available to play uh, if you are an English speaker. We're going to just get started and try this out for an hour and see what this is like. Hold on, I just started the attract mode. I was about to start the, the uh, yeah, it's about to press new game, and then it went to that. Like, was, we'll, we'll press new game here. Aconcagua. Maruza is a small South American country located between Chile and Argentina. Maruza has been governed by a military dictatorship for a long time. Surveillance arrests, tortures, assassinations, and genocide. The people are dispossessed of their rights and freedom and are kept on a chain of fear. The one person to shine a ray of hope onto this long period of darkness is Pachamama, the daughter of the first president of Maruza. The people started the democratic movement with her as a symbol of freedom. The movement expanded nationwide thanks to her warm personality. Tomorrow is the Maruzan Independence Day, and the wave of the democratization is just reaching a climax. I have taken this flight to cover Pachamama, the leader of the democratic movement. Kato, maybe we should get the interview with Pachamama before we land. What do you think? Maybe you're right. It'll be hard to interview her once we land. Miss Pachamama, sorry to disturb your rest, but tomorrow is Independence Day and there is considerable conjuncture that a revolution might break out. Your opinion, please? A revolution? I don't think so. I just hope for a fair election. Uh, how about... Hey, déjala sola. Excuse me. I really would like to rest for a while. Can I continue this interview at the airport then? And my name is Kato. I'm a journalist from Japan. Mr. Kato, I see. I'll try to remember. Hey, look outside. The Andes look spectacular. Your love of mountains really amazes me. It's almost an addiction if you ask me. Descansar un momento. Entonces, te traeré una manta.
no. What happened? Where am I? The plane crashed. Are there any survivors besides me? Oh no, a plane crash. Yes, this game is actually about surviving on this snowy mountain after the plane crash. It's not actually about interviewing a political leader. Hey, are you all right? It's no use, he's dead. The snow must have cushioned my fall and saved me. So yeah, it is a point and click adventure. It seems quite literally you have a, a, a cursor on screen. Which is unusual for a PS1 exclusive. It's my backpack! The contents are all safe. Gloves obtained. I got gloves. Let's see, where's the place I could go? Can I go up this? I can go up that. I don't think I can climb this with my bare hands. There could be other survivors up there. I wonder if Nakayama or Pachamama made it. All right, let's see how we equip things. Uh, climbing loves. I'm lucky to have the climbing skills to make it over this. Sorry I didn't make it to you in time. Rest in peace. So I said it's a survival game. I don't think it's survival horror. I think it's just we're surviving on a mountain is the idea. Oh, he's voiced. Was that Spanish? I couldn't understand a word of it. Where are you hurt? Tell me. Damn, I can't get through to him. Is it just our character that isn't voiced? I like how clicking somewhere, even if it's just immediately next to him, causes him to break out into a full sprint. Hey, Nakayama! Wake up! Come on! Kato, are you okay? Hey, listen. This crash was no accident. This has been planned from the beginning. You've got to reveal the truth. Okay, okay. Don't talk anymore. If you reveal the truth, you'll win the Pulitzer Prize. Uh, uh, the credit is all yours this time, but make sure you thank me later, okay? Uh, uh. Hang on! Nakayama! Nakayama! No, Nakayama! We were gonna share the Pulitzer Prize together. Nakayama, I'll get to the truth of this accident. I swear it. I guess... I'll we'll have to... see if anyone else has survived around here. It's Pachamama! 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 It looks like our plane crashed in the Andes. What are you talking about? I know you. Yes, I'm Kato. Did you get hurt? 
I... no, I'm fine, I think. Are you alright? Yes, I'm okay. I'm used to snow-covered mountains. There should be other survivors. Let's find them. Pachamama's joined our party. You gonna you gonna stay over there? I mean, I have some. I have a survivor over here, but I do not speak the Espanol. Esta uh, llave. Gotta get Pachamama to get over here. Okay. Yeah. So. I can switch between them, so I move them individually. Which seems like an odd choice. <laughs> I'm in a little trouble deciding which way she be, should be facing. Pachamama, you're the leader of the democratic movement. I... I'm not gonna make it. But you must live. Take this. It should be of some use. Hung! <laughs> key obtained. We got the key! To what, I don't know. He passed away. Nakayama died as well. He was a good friend. Hmm. There must be other survivors. We have to keep looking. The sooner we find them, the better chance they have. So we saw some fire in the background. Probably should check out the fire. She doesn't like the fire. The flames are too intense to run through. Could be other survivors who need our help on the other side. What does Kato think about that? Does he say anything different? Fire is too strong! I can't get through! But there other, could be other survivors past it. Damn! Hey, language, Kato. Guess let's look around. Ah, I'll, I'll, it's locked, you say? I'm not going to survive if I can't find any tools. Well, maybe we know someone who can open that. locked. Alright, so, storage trunk key. Perhaps it fits. Fire E obtained. Okay, we got a fire E. Let's use it to E a fire. Right, it's too hot. Can't walk through. Let's use a fire E. Sh yeah. Save complete. All right. It automatically prompted me to save.
guess we'll find out if there are survivors on the other side of this. What is that? It's the cockpit! We may be able to radio for help from there. Survivor from the crash? There is someone else, a Japanese man. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Uh, never mind. Shit, I'm completely out of luck. I was this close to getting back to headquarters in the States. What are you talking about? You are lucky to be alive. If you are not injured, please help me look for other survivors. Okay. I'm Steve, an engineer from the States. What is your name? I'm Pachamama. Alright, Steve's joined the party. Let's see what Steve can do. Is there something like a dead body there? Sure is. Whoa! Are you all right? My legs are stuck between the seats. Boy, I hope they didn't get crushed in there. You don't need to worry. I'm not in any pain. Wait a sec. My toolkit could get you out in a jiffy. Wait right here. Yeah, where is his toolkit? Is it like around here? Is that like a thing right there or is that not a thing? No, I don't think it's a thing. It's just is it does he have a toolkit lying around anywhere? We found a survivors, but we don't have the tools to rescue her. Speaking of, where did my suitcase end up? Where did it end up? The snow looks awfully deep. Yes, absolutely. Whoa, what? I can't move. Someone help me. Oh, no, he's fine. Well, let's see how our others handle it. Actually, it does kind of get like a close up when I walk by here. Is that something? It doesn't look like I can lock onto anything here. But, oh, okay, someone here. Hey, are you all right? Damn, he's dead. Yep. Try to cross that snow. Oh, I guess he can do it. He's getting a cutscene. The snow is very deep here. I'll have to make a path. Got those long legs. Long protagonist legs.
He did it. A rope. Could it be useful? It needs to be cut down. And we don't have any knives or anything. Hang on, are you okay? It's no use. He's dead. The flag of the Maruzan People's Alliance. This was the flag of Maruza until the coup d'etat wrestled power from the president. The blue represents the sky, white is for peace and harmony, and green is for earth. The mighty eagle in the center is supposed to represent the sun. Like the thought process that went to that flag. We should have, you know, three color stripes. The stripe on the top should be blue because of the sky. And then the bottom stripe is green because the green grass? There's an eagle in the middle. What does the eagle represent? The sun? It shouldn't be too much longer. God, why am I always... I'm always... I just swore... It must be difficult being a journalist. I'd rather have this than your job. Well, yes. Being an inspirational political leader, having to usher my country into the ways of democracy. It's, it's a lot of burden for these shoulders. your mama think about her flag the flag of the Maruzans people's alliance a symbol of the ideals we stand for he's not gonna explain to us what the, what the colors mean hold on what's this is this Steve's case someone's luggage it's got a combination lock well maybe Steve knows about it He's not gonna? Oh, he's just not gonna walk over there. Uh, all right. Kato, I guess Kato, take a look at this. Right, combination lock. All right, just we're not opening that, I guess. I think that belonged to a passenger. The owner might be able to open it. Rope might be useful. We don't have tools to cut it. Man is passed. We have a third playable character, but he just he just doesn't want to walk across. Okay, it could be his. Oh, okay, so he'll he'll do it. Okay, so now he'll do it. Now he'll do it. He just needed some convincing. What does he think about the flag? I think this used to be Maruza's flag. Gah, who cares about it? It's 
my suitcase. I recognize it anywhere. Yahoo! My whole toolkit. It's all here. Tool obtained. He's obtained his tool. I found my toolkit. I'll pry you out of there. All right, let's do it. Use, let's use tool on passenger. Thank you. I'm Julia, a journalist from the States. I got arrested in Bosnia last year, and now my plane crashes this time. I must be out of luck. I'm Steve. I'm also from the States. I work for a multinational corporation as an engineer at a local office. I'm Kato, from Japan. I'm also a journalist. I thought that you were a mountaineer. I used to be, but now I'm in the same line of business as you are. I'm Pachamama, the leader of the democratic movement that will win back freedom from the military regime of Maruza. Everyone calls you the Statue of Liberty of Maruza. You're the only hope for the people under the rule of the military. So that's why I thought I'd seen you before. I do not think that the crash was an accident. Why do you think so? I've been targeted for assassination many times in the past. This crash might... We ought to consider our next moves rather than worry about the cause of the crash. When airplanes crash in mountain regions, the search for survivors usually takes longer than you would expect. What? Are you saying the rescue party is not coming right away? There's no guarantee that they would find us immediately. What would happen to us if they didn't find us? That's why we have to find a transmitter. If we can make contact, they will find our location more quickly. He's right. Let's find a transmitter. Well, let's do it. I mean, I think we were saying the transmitter is probably in the, the cockpit of the plane. Let's see what I've got on me. My lighter. And a combat knife. That's it. It'll be tough, but I'll have to make do with just these. In a pinch, I can eat the knife and cook it with the lighter. All right, maybe we know something that could be cut with a knife. knife use my combat knife could easily cut this rope rope obtained Can we use our rope to rappel down to the cockpit? Like, there's like a conspicuous bit of metal right here. Can we tie our rope to it? There's nothing that would hold the rope here. Well, what about this? Alright, the camera's focusing on it. There we go. My hands are too numb to tie this thing properly. Could someone else handle this? 
All right, whose hands are warm? Steve, how your hands doing? You got warm hands, Steve? The cockpit ended up down the cliff. The rope I found could get us down there. Whoa, you're not planning to climb down, are you? Yes, yes she is. Kato, maybe you want to talk with her? My hands are too numb to tie the rope securely. Then leave it to me. I can handle it. Please be my guest. Kato, to okay, so I guess there are ways for one character to give another an item. All right, Kato. Use the rope. Okay, get all right, get closer to the thing. Okay, now you're okay, you're close enough to it now. Sure. It's handy that it's automatically prompting me to do that. Go first to see if the bottom of the cliff is safe. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, sounds of concern. All did it. All right. I'm worried about the bodyguard you were traveling with. Yes, I pray that he is all right. So how long will it take the rescue to arrive? At least a few hours. It's hard to say for sure. I hope we can contact them. We'll have to find the transmitter to know for sure. The rescue party should get here pretty quick after we call them, right? The weather and the terrain might slow them down. All the more reason to try and contact them sooner. Alright, here's the cockpit. Are you alright? You're Pachamama's bodyguard, aren't you? Don't stop, Pachamama. So that's not actually what he said. No subtitles, but okay. It's so close. Okay. What's he saying? Oh, right. I'll go get Pachamama. P -p Pachamama. I'm so glad you're safe. Oh no, you've bled out so much. Forget about me. You need to contact help. Don't say another word. We need to stop the bleeding. Please, try to call for help. And so we did. How do we do that? Manuel is in critical condition. We must stop his bleeding. It must be something we can use for a substitute for a bandage. Let me run around here. You see anything? Or do I have to find something to wrap him up with before we can go into the cockpit? Is I guess what's happening here. Aha! An air sickness bag survived the crash. It's used, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I don't 
feel. I don't need to use this now. Okay, get closer to him. Get, 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 clo get closer to him. All right, get a little closer to him. I'll try to find a way to call for help. Try to hang on. Did we do it? No, I still have the sack. Hmm. All right, can Julia use her knife to cut the sack into bandages? We have to stop the bleeding. There must be something we can substitute for a bandage. I guess not. Camera zoomed in a little bit. Anything here? This seat could be used as a bandage if it could be cut away, but what would I cut it with? All right, Julia, get over here. Julia, can you look at this? I bet this seat could be cut up into a bandage. My knife can easily rip it apart. All right, knife, yes. I should be able to cut the fabric off this seat. Great, this should be enough. Cloth found. Anything else around here? Doesn't seem like it. Stop the bleeding from your injury soon. But it's cold out here. I'll put you on that seat. Uh, there you go. Uh. Yeah, just get you out of the way of that door. So now we can go in. It's frozen solid and won't budge. Transmission device ought to be right on the other side. But oh, wait, don't you have a lighter? It's frozen and needs to be heated up to be opened. My lighter won't do the trick on its own. Maybe we could burn like an air sickness badge or some such. The cockpit is frozen shut. We've got to reach the transmitter inside. It's frozen shut. How can we get in there and access that radio? Well, if I could give an item to someone else, I guess it would just automatically do it. Anything else in this particular area? We should focus on calling for help. Don't need to go back that way. Frozen shut. Gotta reach it inside. That doesn't seem like there's anything down there. Anything around here? Oh, oil is leaking out from here. What if I had a container? Like maybe a waterproof air sickness bag. I can fill up the air sickness bag by using the oil leak. Oil obtained. Oh. 
If I splash the oil on the frozen door... There we go. Now all we have to do is ignite the oil. Should have unfrozen the door. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm not hurt too bad. What the hell happened to the plane? Besides crashing. I don't understand it either. There weren't ab any abnormalities during the flight at all. And out of nowhere, there was an explosion in the rear of the cargo bay. An explosion? We lost altitude quickly. That collided with the mountain. Oh. Oh, you can send out an SOS with the transmitter here. All right, I'll give it a shot. Oh. Here's the transmitter! Damn, the electricity is out because of, you know, the plane being in pieces. Yeah, I'll save my progress. Shit! Where the hell is the rescue party? What's that sound? It's a helicopter. It's the sound of a helicopter. Great, here they come to rescue us. Look! It, it must be a rescue party. Must be. Get their attention. Over here! Over here! Hey! Everything's gonna be all right now. How did they find us so soon? Oh, don't worry about that. You worry too much, Mr. Worry Wart. Also, don't worry about that gun. No! No se acerquen a ese helicóptero! What? I don't speak Espanol! Government troops? Maybe those are first aid bullets. Wait. Maybe those bullets injected him with medicine? What the hell is going on? Why are they shooting at us? Aren't they supposed to rescue us? They might have mistaken us for someone else. Who the hell did they mistake us for? That's no excuse! Maybe they mistook us for rebel guerrillas based in the mountains. I mean, you saw the pilot. We can use a transmitter to let them know. I can easily see. Let's talk to them right away before they circle back around. I can easily see how you could mistake that pilot's uniform for the guerrillas. Anyone could have made that mistake. Anyone. All right. But we don't have power, though. We still don't have power. Is it dead, or did the battery become disconnected? Steve, you're the engineer. You want to get in there? Uh, no juice. The battery must have been dislodged. He's a goner. Shit. Are we next? Anything else in here to look at? Ugh. 
Doesn't seem so. Alright, Kado, go in there. You notice anything? Huh, it won't turn on. Is the battery hooked up? He's dead. Damn, what could we have done? Alright, Pachamama. Your turn. There is no electricity. She is correct. He didn't survive. How much more innocent blood is going to be spilled? What do you think about this? Don't try to contact them. They're out for blood. Hmm. Can we take a look at the dead pilot? Is his body lying around somewhere? No, gotta cur gotta hurry up and contact that helicopter. Steve, I don't suppose your tool would do anything. No, oh, nothing nearby. Okay, maybe he wasn't close enough. No, okay. His tool doesn't work on, on this. Nothing to work on. The snow wasn't bad enough, now we're being shot at. Calm down, Steve. You're an engineer. Find some way to fix the situation. Who can be calm in a time like this? Alright, we have to find some way to fix the situation. It says the battery might be disconnected. Where can we access the battery? You'd think it would be on the inside, but I didn't see any battery. Just remind myself, he has gloves. Uh, no. She doesn't have any items. She has knife and lighter. And he has tool. How dare they fire on one of their own damn celebrities? Hmm... How could they make such a mistake? Who would open fire on innocent civilians? It could be a misunderstanding. We should contact them and clear it up. Fuck that! What the hell is wrong with this country? No offense, Pachamama. Those guys in the helicopter must have thought we were terrorists, right? I'm sure they'll rescue us once we convince them otherwise. It's not... It's not what he said. It's a completely different sentence. Alright, um... Battery's disconnected. No one has, like, anything that could be a replacement. Steve is the engineer, but he says there's nothing for his tool to work on. Um, it doesn't seem like we can actually walk a distance away from the, the, the plane. It seems like the only thing we can do is stay by this plane. I could try to look at the outside of the plane, but it doesn't look like anything's happened in there. It doesn't look like there's anything to look at. I can try talking with all the party members, but that's not doing anything except reiterating that we need to contact the helicopter. Inside the cockpit, there's only two things to look at. One is the dead pilot. He's And, like, we don't say... None of the characters actually say anything useful about that. 
We could look at the control panel, but again, no one said anything useful about that. Except battery's dislodged, but where is battery? There's no other points of interest inside the cockpit. Like, if we could find battery, then maybe we could fix battery. Is battery accessible from outside plane? Oh, there it is. Here's the socket for the battery. It must have fallen out during the crash. Fuck! The battery's missing! What can we do? What do you think? We've no choice but to look for a battery. But where should we look? I don't think it's on this side of the valley. If it had fallen on this side, we would have found it already. They're back! Better move to the other side anyway. Well, what should we do about him? We'll be caught if we take him with us. Oh, be the day, Timmy. How about drawing their attention as we run? They should follow us. Uh, oh. Everyone looks okay. Oh, yeah. Now I just hope I find a battery somewhere around here. You know, I'm not a fan of Steve, but I do like his uh his delivery his delivery on Fah! It's just you can feel the frustration in Steve's voice. Alright, hopefully there's a battery we can find over here. Can't head back that way without the battery. Alright, let's head towards the helicopter then. Oh wait, there's something over here. Could the battery have ended up in this wreckage? Can I get a little bit lucky? Could, could I use my tool? No, there's nothing for him to work on. There's other wreckage over here. Well, there's a thing to climb. Steve can't climb, but we know someone who can. What does he think if he looks at this? Wreckage from the plane. Battery's not here. Okay, he just says outright that the battery's not there, which is helpful. Do it, do it, Kato. Do your climbing the only way you can do. You can climb this cliff. He can climb this cliff. You, okay, use your gloves to climb the cliff. Well, th that looks to me like it might be a battery. Let's see. It's an overhang made of snow. If I had stepped on it, it would have collapsed. Damn it, it's so close. If only had something like a, a long stick to reach it. Some stick like contraption. I don't think there's a stick up. Huh? Looks like I'm above the helicopter. Alright, they can't see us from there. Alright, maybe we need to find a stick. Can I climb down? I should get back down. Uh, 
All right, let's see if we can find something that's like a long stick. That actually looks like a battery up there. Don't know what was on the other one. But this, this looks, that looks like a battery. Battery obtained. But can I find a long stick so we can do the other one as well? Stick? Stick? Is there a stick anywhere? Do you have- Hello, sir. Do you have a stick? Are you alright? Too late. He's dead. Doesn't seem like it was the helicopter that killed him. Stick? Anyone have a Got a stick anywhere? Anyone got a stick? Stick, stick, stick? What's in here? Wreckage from the crash. So of no use to us? Well, is there like a stick thing? No, I guess not. There's no stick-like object in there. Uh, does, I guess that's the, the end of that path. What about over here? It's flat ground over that way. I'd be a sitting duck for the helicopter out there. Can't go that way. Not seeing a stick. Well, maybe we don't need stick yet. We have battery. Maybe battery is enough for now. I don't suppose there's a stick in this wreckage. Steve back to the others. We can't find the battery. We can do it. We can't take much more of this. Fortunately, we have found the battery. Need him in there. I assume Steve is the one has to fix it. I don't know that. I don't know if that's true. But I'm getting Steve over there. Steve, you wanna you wanna yeah, okay. Take the battery. Steve took battery. Battery obtained. I mean, I guess we might as well get everyone over there. Keep everyone in the same place. Like, I'm guessing Pachamama would have to be the one to actually send the message because she's the only one who actually speaks the language. As apparently none of the other people who were on this plane speak any Spanish. where the battery should go. Just gotta align the terminals and fit the prongs into the right grooves. 
you know, engineer stuff. All right, uh, Pachamama, do you want to try to send a message? Power is on. There are so many switches. How do we make contact? All right, she doesn't know how to use it. Steve, do you know what to, what to hit to turn this on? Hell yeah, it's working. Just gotta tune it to the emergency frequency. Come in helicopter. We are the we are the survivors of Aero Marusa Flight 203. Can you hear me? Spanish, huh? They can't understand me, can they? Alright, Pachamama. Do your thing. Way to start me? Hmm? No? They did not respond? We have an agree- Oh no, we do- Okay, I guess. We have an agreement. The government forces will let everyone else go. But yeah, okay. We'll save progress. That was a, a lot of conversation done in a very short amount of text. And I guess our... Our adventure is over. We saved everyone. Except that one pilot. Uh, that one pilot that was shot dead. We were not able to save him. Double-crossed. Ah. A stick! That's a stick! What a stick that is. Try to keep up, Steve. Look, the government troops only want me. The soldier told me that they were ordered to kill everyone else. That means the Maruzan government planned the crash as well. Are you saying that we have nothing to do with this and we just got caught up in your fucking war? Steve, cut it out. We don't have time to quarrel among ourselves. We have to concentrate on finding our way out of this. She's right. Pachamama, you'll have to tell us all the details after we get rid of that helicopter. What, what drama? What interpersonal conflict this international team has come together to survive on the mountain and quite possibly to bring democracy to the embattled nation and totally real nation of Marusa. Um, we have to protect Pachamama. She is the Statue of Liberty of Marusa. Only she can inspire the people to stand up for democracy. What, what will happen?
if she is killed by these government agents, the election is tomorrow. We have to get her, get her off this mountain and back to society so she can be elected. And so that, I guess we've been doing this for an hour, so I guess that's our look at Aconcagua. Um, a very cinematic point-and-click adventure. And again, I'm very surprised that it is quite literally a point-and-click adventure with like a cursor on the screen considering this is a PlayStation 1 exclusive. It's not a PC game or anything. Why is there a cursor on the screen? But it, it's there. It's there. And it's pretty impressive for a PlayStation 1 game. And I'm into the interpersonal drama. Steve is just falling apart. He can't believe that he got caught up in your fucking war. He just, he wants to get back home. Well, uh, that has been our look at Aconcagua. Again, just like a... It's just a curiosity because... You know, when the English translation of this came out, I was kind of surprised because I never heard of this. And that just seemed weird because this seems like the type of game that I would have heard of, even if I never played it before. I was just surprised that it was... I just never even heard the name of this game before or knew that there was this cinematic point-and-click... Apparently pretty high budget uh, game that Sony put out as the, for the PS1 as the PS2 was coming out. Um, and it's great that there is now an English translation. So it is available for all of us to play. And also since this is since this is not a PC point and click adventure, it definitely is nowhere near as mean as one of those. You know, when you think about a PC point-and-click adventure like your Sierra games, you can think of just some real ridiculous puzzles. Just absolute bonkers nonsense. But this is definitely a much easier, friendlier point-and-click adventure than what you might expect from... Uh, from that particular genre of that time. Um, so yeah, I definitely enjoyed our time with Aconcagua. Um, but that's not important, though, is it? What's important is what does AI-generated rock think of, of Aconcagua? And uh, I think that this game was putting a smile on my face, so I will say that it also put a smile on AI-generated Rock's face. He has a pretty good grin there saying, yeah, okay, okay, I, th I, was, I liked it. I like what we were doing here. I thought it was pretty enjoyable. Um, you know, I like the idea of like a point-and-click adventure game with a party of characters with different personalities and dialogue and different skills. It's, a, it's just an interesting thing. Um, so yeah, that has been our hour-long look at the PlayStation 1 exclusive Aconcagua.